Hello friend, welcome to my YouTube channel Mechanical Design Adda. In this video, we will discuss few objective question related to machine design. So the first question is, uh, Hooke's law holds goods up to. So this Hooke's law is uh, means applicable up to the elastic limit. If you see the elastic uh, uh, means uh, stress uh, stress and strain diagram. So this Hooke's law hold means uh, applicable or it uh, applicable at the point to the elastic limit elastic limit point. After that, uh, the some uh, elongation will start. Our next question is the ratio of linear stress to the linear strain is called as so the ratio of linear stress to the linear strain is called as the modulus of elasticity modulus of elasticity for the mild steel is 110 kilo newton per mm square when material is loaded within the elastic limit then the stress is uh, is uh, means here are the option equal to or directly proportional or inversely proportional if you see the stress strain diagram at the uh, at the point to the elastic limit stress stress is directly proportional to the strain so the correct answer is directly proportional when hole of diameter d is punched in the metal of thickness t then the force required to punch the hole is equal to so uh, to calculate the punch uh, the force of the punch for the hole uh, we have here formula and the correct answer here it is a b a pi d into t into tau u okay the this tau means ultimate shear strength of the material for the plate okay the ratio of ultimate stress to the design stress is known as so ultimate stress to the design stress is known as the factor of safety the factor of safety for the steel and for steady load is so if you see here the option the factor of safety for steel and for the steady load is 4 an aluminium member is designed based on the so aluminium member are designed based on the yield stress in a body the thermal stress is one which arise, arises because of the existence of the temperature gradient a localized compressive stress at the area of contact between the two member is known as so this is known as the bearing stress the poisons ratio for steel varies from so the poison ratio for the steel varies from 0.25 to 0.33 stress is in the bar when load is applied suddenly is uh, as compared to the stress include due to the gradual applied load so generally it is doubled so the stress in the bar when load is applied suddenly is doubled as compared to compared to stress included due to the gradually applied load the energy stored in the body when strain within the elastic limit is known as so the energy stored in the body uh, within the elastic limit is known as strain energy the maximum energy that can be stored in a body due to the external loading up to elastic limit is known as so the maximum energy stored into the body due to the external loading okay up to elastic limit is known as proof resilience the strain energy stored in the body when suddenly loaded uh, the strain energy stored when the same load is applied gradually so it is generally the four times uh, we will read again the strain energy stored in the body when uh, suddenly loaded is four times the strain energy loaded when same load is applied gradually so friend that's all in this video uh, if you like this video please like share and subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon uh, thank you for watching